Okay, moving on. So, what you want to do now is my, my work. Um, whenever you do any kind of drawing or CAD drawing, there will be some reference points. And usually it's reference to this top, top surface, bottom left corner here. Get a better edge. So, as far as you're concerned, if you want to put a circle in this centre here, yeah, you've gone to your program and you've done your piece of wood and that point there is zero, zero. And you've gone, okay, I want it 200 millimetres in and I want a 100 millimetre circle there in the centre. Okay, so that is roughly, I don't know, 150 millimetres by 75 millimetres. But that, from that corner there, not from that point there. It's from this corner here, always from the edge of the work. Okay, now the work has, again, three axes. You've got a long ways. Long ways, this here is your X axis, going that way. So X is that way. Uh, y is from this edge going that way. Okay, so X is from this edge going this way. Y is from this edge going this way. And Z is from the top of the, the sur top surface of the work. Okay, so that's zero. So if you look at it, when you combine all three, X, the, the far left of the edge of the piece of wood, that would be X zero. And the bottom of the piece of edge of the piece of wood, that would be Y zero. And the top of the piece of wood, or the surface of the piece of wood, would be Z zero. So if you look at this point here, and you think about this point here, what this point here is, is from the wood's point of view, this is 0x, zero 0y, zero and 0z, that corner there. But there's no way the machine knows, with respect to this point here, where that 0,0, zero is. So what you do, you have to kind of give it what's called a work offset, or basically tell it where 0,0, zero is with, with a piece of wood. So, what you do, grab your trusty remote control, and what you first want to do is go back to your software, and here where you've got machine coordinates are in red, if you click that, and it should disappear that red. Okay. Now you've got a, a set of numbers which are just random. Don't worry about those numbers at the moment. They're not important, okay? What is important is first remembering how to set this piece of wood up so the machine knows where this point is. So, the first thing to do is to do your X edge, okay? Your X, X axis, all right? Which, how, how far that way? So, let's just move our machine. See it moving. Okay. I'm using the pendant to control it here. Okay, so I get it more or less right. While it's moving, can you see how the x-axis is moving and it seems to be getting bigger? Okay, don't worry about that. Really. Okay, if you if you overshoot the position, just move it back. More or less it. So what you do then? Is as you can see, the, the head is far away from the edge.
as you can see, the pointer, or the actual cutter, is right on the edge of this piece of wood. Now, let's go back to your software. You can see the X position, now it's showing some value. What you then have to do is zero that, tell the machine that that is my zero for the X. So, there we go. Let's click on this button here. That zero is the X to zero, and it's zero. Interesting little thing for you, if you click on, you go and click on the machine coordinates button again, that position there, on the X position, means that the actual wood there, the wood corner there, is 240 something, 242 mils from this absolute position here across. Okay? So let's go back to the uh, work coordinates, just push the right button again, we've got the zero. Now we'll do the same for the Y position. Now at the moment it's showing some random value. And as you can see, the cutter is not anywhere near this edge. So we need to move the cutter a bit this way, and then here. See, the cutter is pretty much on this, this edge, or this is the Y edge. So, alright. Now, you've set the X axis, so you don't have to worry about that. It will show you some numbers, don't worry about that. Now, the next one you want to set is the Y axis. Now, at the moment, it's showing some random value. Now, you set it to be this edge here. So, this edge here, so all you need to do then is say yes, I'm happy with my Y position, and again just click that button there, and that will go to zero. Okay, now we do the same with the um, Z position. Ah! Now move the cutter to the center of the piece of wood. Okay, so we're going to set the uh, Z axis now. Now at the moment, again, because it's first switch on, the machine doesn't know where the Z or the top of the, the top of the piece of wood is. Can't possibly know that. You need to tell that. So what you do is you've got to lower the cutter onto the surface so it just touches the surface. That can be a little tricky. And what a lot of people do is use a piece of paper where they lower the cutter down and they move the piece of paper backwards and forwards until the cutter point pinches the piece of paper onto the surface of the wood and you can't move it easily. Then that is zero for your Z axis. Okay. Now what you have to do, this Z here, the Z cutter, is a bit quick. If you do that, going down, there's no way you can control the speed of the head as it goes down, and it'll just rivet the, the router bit straight into the piece of wood. So what you do is you um, slow it down using the jog, these jog. Slow and fast, so just hold your finger on the button for a bit, and then try again. A bit too slow. So there we go, so you can see. You do three to four. Just inching it down. Right, it's pinched it at that. It's got a hold of it. 
So that is zero. Okay? So that's my zero for my z. And oops, here, the z axis numbers. Remember, make sure it's not red. It's it's not red there. Red, what I mean by red, when it's on, it's bright red. Okay, so there's your z-axis numbers. And when you're happy with your, your cutter position being zero, which it is, all you do is then click zero z. And your numbers will change there. So, now what you've done is set your x, y and z to be with respect to this point here. If you look at it, from that corner there, you've got, it's about roughly 120, 130 millimeters in from the left hand edge, or the X position is 130. And it's about, about 50 to 60 millimeters in from this edge, from this bottom edge. Now if you've done it right, it should, these numbers should reflect that. You've got roughly about 130 millimeters from that edge, from the edge and about 60 millimeters from the front face. So that's looking about right. And your zero, because I've not moved my X, my Z cutter, it's still on the surface. So what we can do now is that we'll move this cutter up and then click uh, go to Z here. And what go to Z means, it will actually take this cutter head and move it to zero X, zero Y, and zero Z. Which what it means is it's gonna go up, we're gonna to go to this corner here, then it will point to that corner there, if everything's okay. So, let's just move the cutter up out of the way first. Yeah. Okay, so we've got our X zero, our Y zero, and our Z zero. So hopefully, if I push the uh, go to zero button this will cause this cutter to go that way to zero that way to zero and point to this bottom corner and that's a good way to tell if your machine has been set up correctly so fingers crossed let's try that so here's your go to zero go to z click that Now, as you can see, it is pointing to this bottom left-hand corner, and it, oh, I didn't get quite right, but you can see the general idea is there, okay? So that's how you do your setup for your piece of wood, so you set zero, zero.